for the exhibition um i've made um a, a drawing of a tractor um so it's um it's a 3d um drawing uh, made in steel um welded some wend welded and bended steel and it's a to scale uh, david brown tractor and then in the david brown tractor there's a video piece called art school and the old days and um it's a video that uses um some archival film footage um and also some I could guess call it archival footage from the Miriam O'Connor collection because um, Miriam's given me a VHS tape she gave it to me about eight years ago and I didn't make anything with the footage so because we were shown together I was interested in like bringing that um, footage into the gallery so I've made a short four and a half minute piece that kind of um, looks at like art education and um, kind of I suppose like the being farmed into art education in a sense um, and then on the wall there'll be some um, marker drawings um, that I've made over the last kind of year. Um, one of them is a scroll drawing. Um, so I made it kind of, I think last year, early last year. Um, and that's called um, News From um, Over The Road. Or it might be called News From, News From Back The Road because that's like a kind of running joke at home um, around like, uh, what way is over the road and what way is back the road and people getting very pissed off if you don't know the difference between over and back. For, for the show, um, I did, um, I undertook an artist residency in the um, Mart, which is across uh, the road. And in, in, in approaching this work, I was interested in the kind of proximity between the art centre and, and the Mart, Roscommon Mart. And, so I proposed uh, that I would uh, be an artist in residence at the Mart uh, for uh, a period of time earlier this year. And in doing that, I produced uh, postcards um, of the kinds of things I saw or the kinds of things that kind of were brought to my attention during that time. And I borrowed like the furniture um, from the Mart. It's like the card, the, um, the box for the cards that is used uh, in the Mart. And I bought that to the gallery as a kind of tool to display this work, but also as a kind of tool for exchange between the Mart and, and, and uh, the Art Centre. Um, and also in the show, I have, uh, like, I, you know, when I was in on residency and being, like, uh, working in farming, uh, like, the farm safety sign and notice is important. So I began to think about, like, my invitation letter, um, uh, or my proposal letter to the Mart in that kind of way. So I also have um, represented the letter of request for access to the Mart as um, as a kind of notice sign, but also as an art piece. Uh, and um, in in making the postcards, I was thinking about well, how might they be displayed? And I uh, made a shelf specifically for them. Uh, and the shelf is fashioned in such a way that the responses um, to um, the work um, can be displayed on the shelf, uh, on, on the postcards. And the shelf is, you know, um, arranged in a particular way that, like, um, it's painted in blue and pink, um, and it references um, the uh, um, the livestock sales that took place uh, during my residency period. Um, and when I was actually at the Mart, I was franking uh, letters for them. And I noticed that there was a huge disparity between like male uh, ownership and female ownership of farms. Um, and I used that sort of shelf as a way in which to engage with that, um, uh, the imbalance or the gender imbalance that prevails in the Mart. Um, so it's there also as a kind of reminder, like a visual reference. Uh, uh, so the, the colours of that shelf are inheritance blues uh, and uh, minority pinks. So that, that's the... Oh, and also I made some biros for people to, to write, to respond to the work. Um, um, and this was something that um, when I was on residency myself, I remember like, you know, Axe Insurance were there and different kind mm. of stands. Uh, and they're always offering you free things. Um, and I thought this is the perfect thing to make uh, for for the um, for the postcard because you know it gives them a, an opportunity to to write a uh, response, but also you know something that they can take away. 
yeah. and I think actually with this work this was important that you know the idea of exchange and value and taking things and putting them back um, and just trying to trying to build a relationship between these two audiences in a way that I felt was considered was important for me in the kinds of things that I produced for the show. I have um, some different paintings in the show. Um, I have uh, some small paintings and then I have a couple of really big paintings as well. Well, really big for, for me. Um, and um, the small paintings um, started out um, because um, I was kind of stuck for time and only had a set amount of time to make work. So I was making really small work so I could kind of get it done in one sitting or one morning or whatever. Um, and um, these paintings were from kind of like screenshots on my phone um, because I'd be kind of scrolling through my phone when I when maybe my daughter was like s sleeping on me and I couldn't kind of move so I'd just be sitting on my phone and um, scrolling through it and I'd take like loads of screenshots of like I don't know things that like you know I, I didn't really need but like I felt like they needed to be kind of like captured or remembered or something um, and um, yeah I just had this folder on my phone for ages and um, there were all my favorite screenshots and um, I didn't really know what they were gonna become um, and uh, yeah I ended up like um, painting them and um, then um, I kind of the paintings kind of um, became kind of bigger um, and I'm really interested in text and kind of the text that's underneath the kind of ads um, and I'm interested in typography as well as a kind of an art form in itself and the perfectionism and kind of like fine detail in typography. Um, so I was kind of interested in painting um, typography and kind of like, you know, um, really kind of messing up like the lovely ligatures or like, you know, um, details that um, uh, the, the typographer would have um, so kind of lovingly crafted and I'm just kind of making a mess of it with paint um, and I really like that and enjoy doing that um, um, so th yeah so the text kind of came together in the big paintings um, and then kind of the notice board I've, I have a notice board um, in the show as well um, and um, yeah, I, I, um, I really like notice boards and just kind of the way uh, all of this kind of like graphic kind of ephemera, um, so kind of random and different kind of styles and everything ends up on a notice board and even just like the pins and like the sellotape and stuff that's left on it afterwards. Um, and I made business cards as well. Um, and the business cards kind of reference some of the users on adverts um, where these screenshots would have come from. Um, because there's kind of the, these like online digital communities like um, that are kind of interesting. Um, so some of the business cards are for them and then some of the business cards are for the objects.